What can I say? What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back. Welcome back to another hair video. It's been two months since my last video talking about Curly Proverbs Extreme Hair Growth Oil. And I've been using this oil now for, hmm, probably about five months or so and the hair growth is real honest to goodness and we're gonna do a hair length check shortly coming up honestly i'm excited i'm excited i'm gonna do some oiling and i'm going to take my twists out and i'm going to put my hair into protective style as well in this video so if you want to see how i protect my hair in the winter because it's wig season so it's time to Dawn your wig and wear it loud and proud, girl, because it does not mean that you don't love your hair. If anything, it shows that you love your hair because you're protecting it. So no stigmas over here, thank you very much. It's been two months since my last video. You may have seen this one. If you haven't, then you'll wanna check that out so that you'll know how to make Curly Proverbs extreme hair growth oil and I'm gonna vouch for it. I am an avid user of her hair growth oil. I am going to make her henna and amla mask and I'm gonna do a video on that. So I've got that here, I've got the amla and I've got the henna so I will be doing a video on that. She knows what she's talking about so I ain't gonna question her, I ain't gonna mess with her because it's been working for me. So, Last night, I did this. Got an electric one, I've only ever used it on my wigs to just like lay it down, but last night, I had it on the lower setting. And then I went in with Giovanni's leave-in conditioner, which is water-based. I thought it would make my hair revert, it didn't. I know that Curly Proverbs uses Giovanni leave-in conditioner, and yo, girl, get your, Get your mitts on one of these because it is next level boom. It is so, so, so amazing. My hair has never felt so good. Look at that. And I've recently done a review on the Giovanni, so check that out as well. So let's get this hair out and find out where I'm at with length. So last time I was about just below this upside down anchor. And I'm just gonna take my hair down. I did trim the ends just a tinsy, wincy bit. So I don't think that will make a difference though. Like length is length at the end of the day. I took off just a tiny bit. It has been two months since my last video. So we'll see. Ah, I'm nervous. I'm not even having to do much. It's just like, bing. Sorry if you can see lines all over my face. I am sitting in front of the window. Hey, that's all of them. How fast was that? <laughs> that's so funny. So I'm gonna just quickly stimulate my scalp with my scalp massager. I know that Curly Proverbs does this as well, so I literally just do as she does. I don't, I don't cut any corners, I just follow her. <laughs> I'm a fan. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss a video from me. Like and share. This is so good. Other side. As you all know, well, you may not know, but I have a um, inflammatory health condition, which often means I get a lot of hair full and 
over the last two months especially my hair fall has been a lot less check these images out you can't say anything it's just obvious so i'm all massaged let's get measuring So I like to use my upside down anchor to as a guide of where my hair is at. I like to grab a small bundle of hair just behind my ear. So yeah, like the nape, the nape area. Whoa. Look at that. So that is about here. Look at that growth in two months. Are you joking? <laughs> Look at that. That's not, we ain't playing. Honest to goodness, I trimmed my hair last night. I trimmed it. So this is actually shorter than it was last night. Look at that growth. Wow. Okay, okay. How long is that? I think, I think we're here. I think it's about 10. I'm gonna like, I'm not going to like, that's really hard to measure, but look, we are way past that anchor. I think the last time I measured, I was about here. What can I say? What can I say? I'm just, I'm just so happy. So I'm going to now put some cornrows in my hair and I'm going to do them as twists. I just want the least manipulation of my hair as possible and twists are the best thing to go underneath my wig. So I'm gonna do that.
Okay, as you can see, I'm all done. It's very, very imperfect. Which I don't care because I'm not a professional and this is going underneath my wig. But yeah, it's a bit messy. So thank you all for watching. I will be doing a video on all of the products and ingredients I use in my hair care routine. So if you want to catch that, keep an eye on my playlist. It will be in there eventually. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Bye.